Oakland Police Department has shut down a social media strategy meant to help fight auto burglaries. The pilot program, which lasted less than a day, allowed people to direct message police on X and Instagram if they see someone breaking into a car. And while some question the decision to end the program, OPD says the decision to shut it down was always the plan. Max Darrow explains. On Friday, Oakland police created social media accounts called Oakland Autoburg, where people could DM or direct message the police about auto burglaries in process. This was a pilot program that was originally supposed to run through the weekend, but the accounts were deactivated by Friday night. Auto burglaries are a problem in Oakland. District 5 Councilman Noel Gallo knows this firsthand. My car's been broken in three times, one in front of City Hall and two over by Jack London Square attending uh, business meetings. Oakland auto burglaries are up 36 percent compared to last year. OPD launched the social media pilot program so they could test out an additional way for community members to report auto burglaries. The move came as a surprise to Gallo. I was, you know, watching the news on TV, and that's the first time I had heard that was going to be implemented here in Oakland. But the program was shorter lived than many people expected. In a Facebook post on Friday around noon, OPD wrote the program would run through the weekend. But by Friday night, the Oakland Autoburg accounts notified followers they were done and deactivating the accounts. People on social media expressed frustration with the duration of the pilot program. But in a statement shared with CBS News Bay Area on Sunday, OPD told us the auto burglary social media reporting pilot was always intended to be a limited test. The test concluded as scheduled and the accounts were deactivated as planned. This account will be reactivated ahead of our next test. Thank you to all who participated. The Oakland Police Department will review the results of these tests and evaluate the next steps. Gallo says the intent behind the program is good. I hope the the new technology reporting system works, uh, but at the end of the day, it's going to take the enforcement to follow through on the call. And that, he says, is lacking. Right now, what I'm getting from my neighbors, my residents here with the frustration, not only do they do not get a response from 911, they don't get a response from the 311 system that we have. We asked OPD how many messages they received over the course of the pilot program, but we're told that OPD could not provide that information at this time.